Hey guys and gals, Joe Kelly here, back for another episode of Trading Basics. This is episode four, and we're gonna get into a little bit of trading software here. All right, so today we're going to talk about DOS Trader Pro. This is one of the most widely used day trading applications in the small cap world. And we're going to go through this step for step in each window and show you the setup, the configurations, the definitions, and everything. That way you are very, very familiar with the platform that you will probably likely be using. Now we understand a lot of traders already use DOS Trader Pro, so we wanted to go ahead and make this legend here that way that you can flip around this video and find the section that is most relevant to you. In this section, we're going to go over the montage for DOS Trader. The montage little quick link can be found right here on the far top left of DOS Trader Pro toolbar. You can click that and then the montage window will appear as you see here. The montage window is broken down up from top to bottom. I'll go over this. Top to bottom, top left, right here is where you can enter a ticker. So we're gonna enter ticker VHC. Trading settings. This here is going to allow you to customize this window completely. So you can enable a send order confirmation, which means that when you click the order to go live, it will pop up with a window and say, do you want this to go live? And you got to click again and click yes. That prevents, you know, whether you're accidentally clicking buttons or not. Check duplicated order. Price check. That's not like Walmart. Price does not change when route changes. I actually like this option. Okay, so this is time and sales. And the hotkeys up top here in the toolbar, you can click that. Time and sales window will come up. We're going to move it down. We're going to bring up two time and sales windows for this purpose. Here, if you right click in the time and sales window, you can configure it or auto fit whatever prints that you have. We're going to configure ours. You can choose the font size by clicking in this area here and choose whatever font you want, type, and then size to click, drag, and drop right there. And then now we can click, drag, and drop over here. Now you see there's no prints happening over here because nothing happened over here greater than 4,000. So now you can expand or whatever one you want to do to see that stuff size it up and get it ready to go and then we click commit your volume is going to be on this part of the chart and it's going to interfere with your price action but if you want it to display in a different section you configure that area so we're going to go to study config we're going to remove that again now if we want a moving averages up here like let's say we want vwap in this study over here we can leave our color like this. We can tell it to calculate for pre and post market hours. 